crispy fried shallots. Very, very nice garnish for any kind of salad. Gives a nice crunch component to it. Um, great garnish for any kind of hamburger. It's really good, uh, very versatile garnish. So what I've started here with is I got a little bit of cornstarch. And I'm just gonna add some sea salt. Add some fresh cracked pepper, and that's gonna give it some nice seasoning to the shallot. I'm gonna take my whisk here and just give it a nice little whisk just to make sure that all that seasoning is incorporated throughout the cornstarch. And again, this is cornstarch, so it is gluten-free for, uh, for anyone who has a gluten intolerance. You could use flour as well, but uh, the cornstarch is really great. You can see that there. Now that we've mixed that up, we've got our nice shallot here, pre-peeled. You can buy these in the grocery store. They're usually um, uh, not peeled, but they're very easy to peel. Um, we'll take those out, this guy, and we'll cut them right in half with your knife, down like that, so we have a nice flat surface to work with. Then we're gonna bring our mandolin in. It's gonna go right over. This is a nice Chinese mandolin, very sharp blade. Make sure you're using the guard always. These are readily available at most grocery stores now or a, a specialty kitchen store will always have these, but you're seeing them more and more. So we're gonna place our shallot on top there, put our guard down and just run the shallot right through over the top of the cornstarch mixture. Very simple technique to do. You can see my fingers are out of the way, so there's no chance of me cutting myself. Now, when it gets to this point, you can keep that for if you're going to make a soup or a stock, a chicken stock or broth. Again, repeat the motion with the second half of the shallot. And there we are. Now, we'll take our shallots here and just kind of break them apart with our hands so that that nice cornstarch mixture coats them all. And that cornstarch mixture is going to get really crispy in, uh, when we fry it. So what we're doing is we're going to be shallow frying these in a pot over here with about a half a cup, three quarters of a cup of oil. Canola oil is the best for frying. Olive oil would tend to burn at medium-high heat, so this one is at medium-high heat already. Now I've got this little kind of basket here just to shake off any of the excess cornstarch, because you can see it's still coated quite nicely. We just want to get off the extra, extra cornstarch crust. And then once we've done that, you can go ahead and drop them in the oil and you can see they're frying up very, very nicely. And this is going to take about 30, 35 seconds. Very quick. You want to use a nice strainer like this and just break them up a little bit in the oil there so they don't all stick together. And then I've got a little padded paper here with some paper towel and that's going to soak up the extra oil once this is done. These shallots, you can hear the crackling. The easiest way to tell is once they start, the bubbles in the oil start getting a lot smaller and it's not frying as vigorous. So you can see now the oil is slowing down and it's a very simple garnish and it will really wow your guests. So, you can see they're nice and crispy just like that. Take our pad here, put them right on the paper towel, and then become nice and crispy. You can see I'm even handling them now, a little bit of color on them, and that on top of a nice hamburger, beef burger, bison burger, whatever you fancy, or on top of a nice salad will give a really nice crunchy component. And the shallots, when you fry them like that, they tend to get a little bit sweeter as well. Visit agcoblueflamekitchen.com for more tips.